I am Anil Kumar and I have shared many test problems with you and here is a very interesting question. Question number 4 which we are going to solve in this particular video. The idea is that if you understand these questions then you are well prepared for your own test. The question here is in a parallelogram ABCD AB is equals to 3 1 and AC is 4 4. Show that the diagonals are perpendicular. So that's the question for you. So let us first sketch a general parallelogram and then from there we'll, we'll move, right? So we have, let's say, we have this, this as a parallelogram, right? So, okay. So it has the positive sides which are parallel. So that is my general parallelogram. And here, let me just label the sides. So we say A, just put them in order, right? It could be clockwise or counterclockwise. We're not really bothered about these locations at present, right? Well, it was 2D. You could have done it on the scale also. Anyway, so what we have here is that we are given AB as 3, 1. We are given AB, the vector AB is 3, 1. And uh, vector AC is 4, 4. Uh, this question becomes easier if you really put it on on a scale right then you can easily see other vectors purposely i've not done so since we want to understand a method of solving such questions correct now the question is show that the diagonals are perpendicular so it has two diagonals right okay so one is ac and the other one is bd so we have to show that these are perpendicular. That is the question for you, right? You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, showing that these diagonals are perpendicular means that AC dot BD is equal to zero. This is what we need to prove, basically, correct? So we know what AC is, it is given to us, AB is given to us, but not BD. So we need to find what BD is, correct? So that is one thing which we need to find. So how can we find BD? So we have to look for that. So BD, so let's begin by uh, finding BD. We need to find what BD is. So BD basically is, so let me mess it up a bit. So we want to find what BD is, that is this part. Okay, so when we say BD, B to D, that means AD minus AB, correct? So that is equals to AD minus AB, correct? You could also think like this, AB combination this is AD, then rearrange, BD is AB minus AD, correct? You could have done like this, but whenever you have a vector ending and starting, then from any other external point, this vector could be defined as AD minus AB. That's simple. So we know BD is AD minus AB. Okay, then, but what is AD and how do I find AD? Okay, so we know what AB is. We know what AB is. Now this, we know. Now this side and this side, they are same vectors. So what we also know is AB is minus of DC, right? AB. We know AB, right? So, we want to find A to D. We want to find this A to D. How do we get that? So, we could get this from the combination of AC and CD, right? So, let's say AD, A to D will be equal to A to C plus c to d right plus c to d right a to d to c to d now c to d is is minus of a b right because they are in the opposite direction c to d is kind of like this c to d is like this right and a to b is like this so c to d is minus of a b is that okay so i'll just change this we'll write this as a to c 
minus of a b i mean minus of a b correct c to d is negative of this perfect and these two things we know right so we can we can use what we know and then find the value of a to d so a c is four four let me write this four four and a b is three one so we'll just take away three one so what we get here is four minus three is one four minus one is three so a d is now known to us we already know what a b is and therefore we can easily find the solution right so let me write down what what b d is so we have b d as equals to a d a d is we just found a d as 1 3 so we we'll write 1 3 here minus a b a b is given to us as 3 1 correct so this is equal to you can write this as 1 minus 3 right you can write 1 minus 3 3 minus 1 so just going an extra step and that is minus 2 2 perfect so this is BD now once we have BD and we also know what AC is we can find the dot product so what is AC dot BD so A to C is 4 4 let's write down 4 4 dot BD which is minus 2 2 right and the dot product will be just multiply minus 8 just multiply plus 8 that is 0. Since the dot product is 0, we know they are perpendicular. Therefore, AC is perpendicular to vector BT, right? Since the dot product is 0, right? So, this is what we have proved. I hope these steps are absolutely clear. Go through these steps, try to understand how we wrote CD in terms of AB and then solve the question. I am Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos and can put some likes. Thank you and all the best.